Hello, welcome viewers on my channel. Today I am going to show you how you can deploy the Ruckus Virtual V Smart Zone on VMware ASXi. For that, you need to download the OVF file from their support portal, which I have already done. So I am just taking you the straightforward how to deploy this on VMware ASXi. So the first thing I log in into my VMware ASXi. So here is my VMware ASXi console. Then I right click on my virtual machines. From there I create, choose the create and registered VM and then select the deploy virtual machine OVF file. The next thing I have to give the virtual machine name which I choose Ruckus vzone director. Then I have to select my downloaded OVF file and then click next and I need to choose the data store next I have to accept the agreement and click next then here I need to choose the disk provision thick and power automatically I unchecked that's it I click on finish and now it is going to take uh, some time to deploy this OVF so you have to wait for a few seconds or minutes based on the speed of your ESXi machine. So I deploy it. Now I click on and click on the start button. So it's take a while to boot this machine. So this is post message running on. Now I log in with the password the default password is admin and admin now here you have to run the uh, you have to enable the uh, super mode and then you have to run this setup command here you have to choose two profile essential or high skill the high skills allow you to create a multiple uh, that's basically allow you to create a cluster so because my environment is not so big so I choose the one essential so that second option is high skill is basically for the company who have a very large deployments and the benefit of this suppose if one Zone director is go down in cluster the other can take take care of that so I got an error message because I choose the essential and by default it's OVA file deploy the three virtual network card so for the essential we have to have only one network card so I remove the rest to one and now I'm going to start it again and again I have to Login into my VS Virtual Zone, uh, zone Director. Username in admin. Password is admin. Is initializing. Okay, now I have to go into the super mode. And there I need to run the command setup. Now again I'm going to choose the essential one, first one and please, please uh, remember this that you cannot change your profile once you choose it. So please do the proper planning before choosing this one. I choose the IP version 1 and I choose the second, first one for I'm assigning this zone director IP manually. So I select the first option manual. Now I'm giving the IP address which is in my local network range so this IP address should be your local network range so my IP is 10.1.0.160 subnet is 255.255.0.0 and my gateway is 10.1.0.0.0 so please remember please keep this in mind change this IP address according to your network setup don't put the same IP address and my primary DNS 9 and secondary is 5 then I select yes I just open a command prompt and 
keep the ping on this machine so that I can know that when this machine comes live, it is still not live. It's applying the configuration behind this. In. Oh yeah, I'm getting that ping response. So now it is up. So I say accept the settings. I yes. And now let's open this site. So to open this site, you have to have HTTPS, the IP address, and the port number should be eight four four three. Accept the warning message. I know it, so I proceed with this. So this is the setup wizard. First, you have to uh, choose your cluster name and the controller name, your controller descriptions. And then click next. So cluster name is invalid. So oh, let me correct that. Clicking next is checking the NTP, seeing the time. Now it's checking cluster name. And now it's asked the new admin password and also the password for the CLI. You can keep the both password as the same one or you can keep the different password for the admin web admin consoles and for the CLI. So in this whole process this is very important thing which we have learned that in the essential we must have the only one NIC card. However the default setting up uh, deploy the three NIC card. So that you need to keep in your mind so you have to remove the last uh, extra tunic card to successfully run the setup so now it is going to apply the smart zone configuration is take a while I pause it and, and and resume my video here so it's take a while it's not so much fast uh, that it's looking on my video I'm going to log in it and here we have successfully deployed a ruckus virtual smart zone essential edition on VMware e server. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video, like my channel, which definitely encouraged me to upload more this type of tutorial. Um, have a nice day and thanks again to come on my channel.